The 2022 Arizona State Fair is over, but one group is fighting for its place next year. The AZ Native American Rodeo Committee is asking for help from state officials to bring accurate representation to the fair rodeo, as Mackenzie Hamill reports. A private enterprise company with no affiliation with Arizona tribes is managing the Arizona Indian Rodeo, and some of the Arizona Native American community and rodeo board members want to change that. I talked to the group about the steps they're taking to recover the Native Rodeo. That one was a little close. On the Fort McDowell Yavapai Nation, families and friends gather to enjoy the Native Rodeo, horses, cattle, and all. Not only is the rodeo a fun community outing, but it supports local ranchers and business owners. And a major source of business comes from the state fair. The Arizona Native American Rodeo Board is calling out the fair for false advertising because its all Indian rodeo is inauthentic. This rodeo committee has um, been a part of our history. It has allowed our people to be a part of a decision-making process, to be seated at the table to help plan, uh, execute, and launch one of the most important parts of our lives in every day. And for the individuals with me here today, rodeo is a big part of that. The board said it was pushed out of its long-standing position at the Arizona State Fair for unclear reasons six years ago, but they want a seat back at the table. Right now, the All Indian Rodeo is managed by Honeycut Rodeo, a group with no indigenous ties. But AZNAR says the fair event name in itself is a problem because it doesn't accurately represent their community. Little, it bothered me a little bit. I'm like, well, why did they call it the All Indian Rodeo when it's being produced by Anglo uh, contractors that come from out of state? We have 22 tribes, like we said, through the state of Arizona. Why are we not doing our own show? Honeycutt Rodeo told Cronkite News via phone that they had nothing to do with the Native Rodeo Committee being pushed out as they are contracted by the fair board and have been since the 70s. Rodeo Queen Mariah Clark says the country western lifestyle is common among tribal communities. When you hear the western way of life, I always think about my people and we live in primarily rural places on reservations. So I think it's really, really important to note that a lot of this western way of living rodeo is already ingrained in us from ranching, from taking care of our livestock at a really young age. In addition to an event name change, the board wants to make other adjustments to ensure safety of the competitors and audience, welfare of the animals, and resources to sustain tribal land. They just need help from AZ lawmakers to get the funding and a signed contract. These voices need to be acknowledged, they need to be heard, and then we need to make sure that we are here to make this an authentic Native American experience. The group has already earned support from a few legislators, including Senator Teresa Hatotli and Representative May Peshlakai. The Indigenous People's Caucus, a mixture of Senate and House members, is heading the efforts. Official action will be taken in January when the new legislative session begins. In the newsroom, Mackenzie Hamill, Cronkite News.